You push it. Hello, good afternoon. I am here with my guest artist, Caitlin. Right here is where I'm talking because there people are going to be able to see us. Yes, this is Caitlin. This is my granddaughter. We have not had Caitlin at our house for uh, a month now, and we were missing her, missing Caitlin and her brother Nathan so much. Nathan's outside with Caden. Caden just turned the phone on, got me recording, and then they're outside playing in the woods. But anyways, Caitlin did our very first video, our first drawing class with you guys. Do you remember what it was? What did we do first? Cupcake. That's we right. You want to tell them what we're going to paint today? A lollipop. A lollipop? How about a popsicle? Popsicle. Yeah, we're going to do popsicles today. So, my name is Laurie, and this is Caitlin, and Caitlin is my granddaughter. Caitlin, what do you call me? Coco. I am Coco. So anyways, all right, everybody, I'm going to switch over to my chair and I'm going to pull up so I can see who's here today. Hang on. So I'm not getting in front of you all. I'm going to pull this up so then Caitlin can see that we're being recorded. So anyways, Caitlin is a princess. Can you tell that she's a princess? I have kids that paint on here with me, Caitlin. And um, we'll see who's on here, here in just a minute. So, all right, is this in a good angle? I feel like my whole thing got shifted here. Hang on a second. I don't feel like this is in the right spot. Let's try this again. Okay, does that look good? I think that's where it was. I didn't check this really well ahead of time. All right. I think you guys can see me. Okay. Let me here so I can pull our ideas. There we are right there, Caitlin. Mm -hmm. Let's see who's on here. If you guys are on here, say hello. Um, if it's your first time, I have been doing daily paint or drawing and watercolor classes for just anybody that wants to join along. It doesn't matter what age you are. Um, I know a lot of kids are enjoying this because kids are at home. Um, so, and it gives a nice break for parents to be able to have some time where they can get creative and um, do something different. So anyways, make sure you say hello. I will be watching for you guys. Hey, Leba, your granddaughter is so cute. Thank you. Somebody said you're so cute, Caitlin. I think she might know that. But anyways, now we can't see your cute face though, but we got to draw. All right, so let me find our picture again, sis. So, Caitlin, you want to tell them how old you are? I'm, I'm five. You're, you almost said you were four, didn't you? Yeah, five. And yeah. This is where, so over here is where the camera is. So this is where they see you. That's what we can see. There you are. Yep, she, so when we did the cupcake, she was four, but now she's five. Oh, Jolie's on here. Hi, Jolie. Are you going to do um, watercolor with us today, Jolie? Um, hi, Jessica. So welcome, everybody. Um, it's getting nice out. This is going to be a week where we're going to want to be outside, too, but sometimes it's nice to just take a little bit of a break. Okay, I went and picked up more paper because I have used up all of our good um, watercolor. I have not got the heavy, heavy watercolor paper out to use it because it's pretty heavy and it's also a little on the pricey side. So I haven't got it. But I went to UPS on the weekend and picked up cardstock and I just tried it out. Now, I'm not super impressed. I mean, it works okay, but man, the water. This is when I tell you guys, if you're using copy paper, the water will really get your paper wet and it can get really, um, start tearing through that. Hey, Sheila. Yep, it's paint time. Um, but anyways, so I was trying it out. So copy paper's not my favorite. I really keep saying I need to order, order some more art supplies. To be honest, I don't have a whole lot of income coming in, so I've kind of been putting it off. Okay, so, um, but I will get some better paper, but this will work. So, and if this is what you have, it works too. So we have that, we have our watercolors, our brushes. So we're going to start with a Sharpie that we're going to draw and we're going to do one with Sharpie and then I also want to do one without doing the Sharpie lines. Hang on sis, the tablecloth's kind of falling off here. Um, 
because I like, so like this one that I showed you, there's no Sharpie outline. So I just wanna get you familiar with doing some watercolor without drawing with a dark edge outline, even though those are great for um, learning to draw um, and just giving you some good therapy, just painting in the lines. And there's a lot of things that we've done that the outline looks super cool with it. So um, I, did, I do have a pencil, so this is another way we're gonna do this today too. So this paper isn't super big. Hang on, Caitlin, we gotta pull up some ideas. Okay, the fun part of this particular painting is gonna be, or drawing and painting, is gonna be making the paint um, colors to make our popsicles our favorite. Okay, so popsicles are not gonna be very hard to draw. So we wanna make sure we have room for our little popsicle sticks at the bottom, so about two thirds of our paper will be our popsicle, the kind we, the part we eat. And then the bottom's gonna be the little sticks at the bottom. So we're gonna make, if you just take maybe your whole four fingers and you're gonna draw a line just a little wide, not real wide, about the width of a, good job, the width of a popsicle, Caitlin. How wide, what kind of popsicle? And I know there's the kind you split in half, so we're gonna do three of those across here. So I'm gonna do, I got one, Caitlin, and so now I'm gonna do another one. And then let's do one just a little bit different shape. Let's do one that's a little bit rounded. We might make this one into a bomb pop. Does anybody have a favorite popsicle? There you go, sis. Okay, so now we're gonna just go ahead and finish off our popsicle shape. So I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna make the top just a little bit rounded. And then I'm gonna come right back down and I'm gonna touch that line. And do the other one. You gotta go up above it. You got all kinds of fun popsicles going on. So go way up to the top, there you go. It's a little different because you're not looking right beside Coco. There's a good popsicle. Okay, so now we could make one you know how they make them where they're like two separate ones that sometimes you have to share them with somebody? I used to hate having to share my popsicle, but it has the split down the middle. Who wants to share a popsicle? You do? Yes, you are good at sharing. Okay, so now let's make one that looks like the bomb pop shape. So I'm gonna come all the way up and all the way up. Bomb pop ones are the ones you eat at 4th of July. And then you're gonna make it look like a rocket on the end. Okay. And we could go on and on and on and make so many different popsicles. So once you get going, you may wanna make more. All right, now we're gonna put the little popsicle sticks at the bottom. This one will have two, you know why? Because there's two sides. That's right, we have to share it. You would share it with me, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. And you share it with Bubby. Yes. You're a good share. Except for that one time that we went to the bank and we got gum for Bubby and then you forgot and you ate it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. Okay, now. This is where it gets really fun. So let's think of all the fun colors that we could do for popsicles. All your favorite flavors. We're gonna use the black brush. Okay, so let's do, this paper is not the ideal paper for this like we've been doing, but if you get your popsicle wet with water first, don't get it too wet, sis, because this paper will get soggy. So if we get it wet first, this is when it gets fun. So what flavor of popsicle? I'm gonna do pink. I bet you will too. So then I put my pink. Hmm, that water really soaks in this paper. That's not gonna work the same. Do I have any of the other paper? I don't know if I do or not. So my like pink. Okay, so if I get a lot of water on it and I let that water really blend into, I have a nice raspberry, a raspberry, but let's make it kind of um, like a sherbet -y, 
I don't know. Raspberry. How about strawberry lemonade? Thank you. She's adorable. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to put a little yellow in with my purple. So this is kind of a rainbow popsicle. I love your popsicle, sis. you got room to even draw another one if you want. Oh, what kind's that one? Strawberry blueberry. Yum. Strawberry and blueberry. So when you have paper that will withstand water on it, it's just fun to let your water get on there and then let these colors just kind of connect by getting it wet and just do their thing. That's my favorite part of the watercolor process. All right. Now, anywhere that you leave that maybe doesn't get completely covered, you might have little specks of white, which kind of gives, because the lipo popsicle is wet, and it would give it a little bit of shiny. Oh, that's very good, Caitlin. I love your popsicles. All right, so let's do a little bit of a popsicle on the stick. So we're gonna do a light tan color. Um, do you find a good color? You got light green. And then up towards the top of the popsicle is a little darker because that's where your shadow would be coming out from the handle. Okay. Now, again, if you want to take color off, I feel like maybe it got too dark down here. I can lift it off by getting it a little bit wet. And then if you take a paper towel and you absorb some of the water, I think it may do it. I don't know. This paper is not... I paid a small fortune for this copy paper from UPS because I had to buy it per sheet. I was gonna buy a ream, which is 500 sheets. It was gonna be 80 bucks. It's like, yeah, no, I don't think I'm gonna spend 80 bucks on paper. I'm glad I didn't because I know I can get it different, um, better, a different, better quality paper for art. So I think when we're done with class today, I'm gonna get on an order paper that I need. All right, because this isn't gonna work that great. Okay, how about, look at this popsicle. You see this one, it's like a rainbow. So this popsicle that we're sharing, we're gonna do a rainbow, okay? Yeah, so I'm gonna do my rainbow one, thank you. Yeah. This popsicle. So I'm gonna start this one up here with purple. And I have my mixing watercolors here. So I just kinda already have them all set up to do the mixing. So we start with purple for our rainbow. So the top of my popsicles, purple, and then I'm gonna get my blue in here for my next part. And I'm letting my colors overlap because when you rainbow, when you're doing rainbow, the colors will mix the right way and they don't turn like all brown and muddy. So what comes after blue? Do you know, sis? On a rainbow? It goes purple, blue. Yellow. Well, I'm going to use yellow, but what's the color it's going to make in the middle? Do you see Green. it? That's right. Green. So now I have my yellow. And then, it looks like I could have had more room. I could have moved these colors down. Now I'm going to do my orange. pink. If you guys are on here and you're painting or just watching, be sure and say hello. Um, you can share at the bottom left corner is a share button. So you can share by either just sending it in a message to somebody. Beautiful. I like that one. Um, or you can just share it on your Facebook to just all of your friends. But if you know anybody particular that would enjoy doing um, some art classes or painting classes during this time when it, everybody's 
home and kids are home. Um, Coco, this one, this one's a silent one. You know what? That makes it looks like it looks like a popsicle that somebody already ate half of it. Like it, you know what it makes me think of? It looks like it would be a fudge sickle, and those are Coco's favorite. And I would have already eaten it down that far. But that's what it looks like. Somebody ate some of it already. But there's all different shapes of popsicles, so I think that one's going to just be perfect. All right, there's our rainbow popsicle. This one's going to be a rainbow popsicle, too. Okay, now I'm going to do the bomb pop. So the bomb pop popsicle has white, and I'll come back and do my sticks here pretty quick. So I'm going to start with my white in the middle for my bomb pop. Okay. And white on the top and blue on the bottom. Mm-hmm. White on the top? No, white in the middle. Yeah, that's what I said. And then blue on the bottom. Yeah. Blue on the bottom, white on the top. Oh, blue on the bottom, red on the top. I think you said white on the top. Oh. After pink goes blue, pink. The paper's sliding. What's after what's after blue? What's after blue? You do, if you do yellow. No, it goes pink, blue, yellow, uh -huh. and then green. Well, the blue and the yellow will turn green. Remember? Yes. All right. So my bomb pop's going to start out looking a little pink, but I'm going to add, because I have mixing colors, so I'm going to add the orange into it to make the top look red. What you need? Oh, the kind like mine? Yeah, the kind of yellow ones. I don't know if there's any yellow in that one. Is there? No. No. Um, oh, here you can use, use which, here, use this yellow here, because that's already got a little bit of green in it. Okay, just make sure you clean your brush good. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my popsicle sticks, and then I'm gonna do another watercolor, just like this, but we're gonna, outline it with pencil and I'm going to show you how to do that so you don't have the the dark lines if you don't want them. So I'm leaving my pipe popsicle stick. It's dark up close to the popsicle. Another color you, we can use for shadow is always purple. But I'm getting it dark first up here. Much color. You have done a fabulous job, sis. <coughs> Can I do one thing that now I do a little um, color in a different color? Mm hmm. You're going to use my white? Just make sure your brush is clean. Okay. So there's our popsicles with a Sharpie outline. So I'm gonna set those over to dry and we'll make, we're just gonna go ahead and make some more. So if kids are doing this one and you guys wanna grab a pencil and try it this way, you can. So I'm gonna show you how to do it without having the dark edge. So um, anyways, I'm just gonna make these all the same shape. So I'm gonna just do three of them. This will just make a neat piece of art. So I just do it with pencil. And then when you watercolor with pencil, once your paper is dry, you can erase your pencil marks. So then you won't even see the pencil marks. Hey, go, go. Come on, baby. Very nice. You want another paper and do some more or are you going to be done? I want to do some more. You want some more? I want to do one. You did a very good job. Here, let's show everybody your picture. I'm going to turn it around. And I'm gonna show them like this so everybody can see it. It takes a minute because that pictures the videos behind us, but here in a minute, everybody will see your painting. And then now you can do another one, okay? I want, I want, I want to see what one of the pickles actually. See, that's what I was showing it. Whoops, I didn't get it right in the middle very well.
but that's okay. All right. So if you're doing pencil, so we just draw it again with pencil. Um, and then when we're done, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make my popsicles going different directions. I didn't get this centered very well. So let's make this one a narrow one. You're doing a bumpy one. You're gonna make a bumpy one? Let me The bumpy one. The end one. Huh? Like this kind of the bat. Like that. There is. What kind of popsicle is that one? The bat one. A bat popsicle? Yeah. <laughs> Can you make a unicorn popsicle? No. A princess popsicle? I didn't get this centered very well. So if I really wanted to make this a nice piece of art that I was maybe going to frame, I, I would have made, one. um, I made a baby one. Yes. I would have, um, worked at making sure my stuff was centered a little bit better that we're just going to do, um, for the sake of mixing colors here. Okay. So I got my pencil outline popsicles now. So now I can just take my colors that I want is there blue popsicles? Yeah. There is. Yeah, I like the pink one. What would it be? Like, I think about, like, what you get at... The pink and the pink. Um, Sonic, all the different drinks. I don't know what, what it would be, and I want a little purple in this one. I, I love when the colors just mix together and make the colors that I want. You think of summertime having popsicles hey i don't know if daddy or mommy's watching you might say hi to them i think that they might be maybe daddy is watching to see what you're doing if i am my daddy's watching me well i see that he it shows me notifications it doesn't say that he's like actually clicked on it to watch so i don't know but. All right, so I'm letting these colors just kind of do their thing and blend together. Because as they dry, they'll just blend together. If you want to soften out any really strong lines, you can add just a little water. My paper is not the best for this. If you want darker places, this is where you would utilize a little bit of shadowing just a little bit. Just to kind of give so I'm going to, popsicles have that little indentation in it. Hey, Nathan. Hi. I have that popsicle. That one. See? A baby one and a mommy one. So I can make some of this in the middle just a little darker. Does it show you what you're doing right now? Um, It's showing just a few minutes late. What other kind of, how about a lemonade popsicle? Something with lemony colors. What color popsicles do you like, Nathan? Mm. Uh, blue. Blue? I made a blue one, didn't I? This is going to be... My size is going to be all blue. This is my strawberry old. lemonade popsicle. It's going to be lemonade with strawberry on the top. Oh, it's a good or but, raspberry lemonade, maybe. But how will they know what you're doing? They do because people are watching it. And they're hearing you talk to us, too. People are watching. You can see people over here that are watching up there. It tells me how many people watch. And sometimes I'll sell out. Hello. Hello. As if anybody's watching, here's Nathan. Nathan, look right up here. You can look right in there and say hi. Hi. Okay, so if anybody's watching, whoops, I just got, if anybody's watching, say hello to Nathan so he can see how this works. He's going to be our guest artist tomorrow. What are we going to paint tomorrow, Nathan? A robot. Yep, we're going to do robots tomorrow, so he's going to help me tomorrow. You and me. And you. All right, there's my strawberry or raspberry lemonade. Um, 
There, Leva said hi, Nathan. So I had one person say hello. We see that. And then Eddie Bisbee says hi, Nathan. And Sheila Moravac says hi, Nathan. You can read all that because you're a good reader. Nathan's in second grade. So, anyways, so what, all right. Someone just joined. Yep, yeah, it shows when people join too. Yep. Yeah. All right, I need to make another. Let me get an idea on here on my pictures. Another hey, idea. Hey, I need a fudge sickle, you guys. I love. Hey, Lori. Oh, Nathan and Caitlin, we are loving to paint with you. So Lori's got two kids that are painting. JC and JC and oh my, JC and Kenzie. No, is that right? Lori, I'm sorry. Caden's not here to tell me. He tells me every time. I think that's right. I know JC's one. Sorry, kiddos, if I forgot your name. I'm um, not always really good. Remember. Okay, so I'm going to make a... Oh, beautiful, Caitlin. I'm going to make a fudge sickle here. Fudge? Yeah, fudge sickle. That's my favorite. Fudge do you guys have ice cream trucks that go by your house ever? Not much. No? Can I tell you a secret about your mom or your daddy? I didn't raise your mommy. Um, your daddy and Aunt Ariana and yeah. Uncle Jesse. So do you remember the other house we used to live in when we lived in town? Yeah. Okay, so when the ice cream truck would go by? Um, JC and Kenzie, thank you. Um, when the ice cream would go, ice cream truck would go by the... It had a bell, and it would ring it. It wasn't music. It was like a ding, 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 like a bell the whole time. And I would tell your daddy and Uncle Jesse and Ariana, oh, it's the ding, ding truck. And that's all they, they didn't know it had ice cream. It was just the ding, ding truck. And they'd get all excited just to watch the ding, ding truck go down the street. I never told them there was ice cream in it. Eventually, they figured it out. Did they fall it? They, well, they'd go out. Um, you know who was the worst about knowing the ice cream truck would come? Right. It was Uncle Asher. He would get money, probably out of Coco's purse, and he would go buy stuff out of the ding ding truck without me knowing. We just didn't have that much money to do that because you know what? The other thing too, and I know I wouldn't. I'd probably buy ice cream for you guys. But when you had six kids, it was like, it was expensive. And you could go to the store and buy a whole box of popsicles for about what you paid for popsicles from the ice cream truck. So anyways, your daddy just knew it as the ding ding truck when he was little. <laughs> ding ding truck, that's funny. Is that funny? Mm -hmm. All right, this is my fudge sickle. He's my bat, bats. The, the, your bat popsicles. I love your bat popsicles, Caitlin. All right. So if you're doing the watercolor without the, the lines, the Sharpie lines, this paper is going to take a little bit to dry. But you would want to... Um, Erase all your pencil lines when you're done. Oops, that's just too much. Too much color for my popsicle stick. Man, I'm not doing a very good job on this. Okay, that's a little color, but I want to come back with just some light. What? Popsicle sticks are really light in color. So I just put a little color. Now I'm just going to paint it with water. And I think I have a too big of a brush for this part too. I should switch to a little brush. All right. I'm gonna try to schedule, or I'm not gonna try to. I'm gonna schedule an acrylic painting class for later this week. It'll be in a different time than this class. Um, so, but be watching for that. So if you guys are interested in doing acrylic as well, um, I know some of you guys have the acrylic paints that I use and the brushes and stuff, canvas. Um, so anyways, look for later this week that I'll be doing an acrylic class. I haven't decided exactly what we're going to paint. Whoops. Man, I'm like getting colors all that I'm not supposed to. 
Um, I'm going to paint, um, I don't know what I'm gonna paint, but we'll paint um, with acrylic. And uh, it will be, totally lost my train of stop, thought because I messed up my popsicle stick. I don't like the color I made for my popsicle stick. This paper is not the best for blending. It doesn't blend like regular paper does. All right. Well, let's see what you got. I'm gonna do one more thing. What you got on that one? Your Batman, your bat popsicles. These are Caitlin's bat popsicles. I already showed them. You already showed them? Okay, thank you, Caitlin. I think I'm too far down on the table for everybody. All right, I was just gonna come back over my Fudge sickle and add a little bit darker lines in it. And I'm going to order some better paper. So I probably, I don't know, I haven't ordered any art supplies since all this has happened. I haven't had to. Because when I use acrylic stuff, I can just paint over all the hundreds of canvases that I have out in the studio. I have blank ones, but. I hate to use them when I can just paint over other ones. But anyways, we will do an acrylic class later this week. And I'm going to order watercolor paper because this is not gonna work for me at all. This is not, so I'm sorry, if you guys have been using cardstock, I would highly suggest either, even if you can get like from, um, Dollar General's paper wasn't that great. I know at the beginning I grabbed, one of these at Dollar General, because it says, let me show you what it looks like. It says it's multi-purpose artist pad for wet and dry artwork. It's not good for watercolor either. Um, it bleeds, you can see the, all the Sharpie bleeds through, so you know that water's gonna bleed through. So that one wasn't that great. Um, Strathmore is a good brand of watercolor paper. I know Michaels has, um, they do shipping. And then, of course, I don't have paper on my links. I've shared links with you of where I get my art supplies. The brushes are on there. I don't have paper on there yet because it's been so long since I've ordered watercolor paper. I used to order it by big sheets and get it cut um, when I taught kids art. But I have not done that forever. So, anyways, just a good pad of um, water. You don't need, there's like weight. And so, you want something heavier than 90 pounds or heavier. Um, it goes up to 140 pounds, maybe even higher than that. You don't need it that heavy. That's when it starts getting a little bit more expensive, especially if you're doing something every day and you're just learning. But you do want a good quality of paper that works well for, for paint. I have this one that I was using that I got out of the studio was charcoal paper and it worked pretty good. It does curl. But if you lay something on it um, to flatten it out, it'll flatten out. But anyways, we are done for today. This was a super quick class because popsicles don't take long to show you how. But I'm hoping you guys can come up with lots of fun popsicles. And I always love to see you share what you have made. This is probably still a little wet. Yep, it is because it's peeling my paper right up. If you try to erase your pencil marks on wet paper, you're just going to peel your paper. But anyways, once that just dry, you can erase all your pencil marks. It's kind of dry there. So then you won't see them. All right, so anyways, thanks for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And this was a great one for Caitlin. Cause she's, how old are you, Caitlin? Can we see you? You wanna say goodbye? You wanna sign up for the class? Say thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. All right, you guys. Thanks for hanging out today. And we will see you tomorrow to do robots. All right, watch out, sis. I got to turn this off. Don't let me knock you off the chair.